hey there cancers welcome to the happy cancer turbo channel all right so um we're going to be doing your general reading so please keep in mind that this is general so this isn't going to resonate with everyone watching the roles can be reversed and oh <laughs> this is for sun moon rising and venus signs if i did not say that um i just thought this was interesting that this was the queen of cups at the bottom of this deck all right so let's get started cancers let's see what's going on with you guys Tell me about cancers. seeing here presently cancers i feel like you may be learning something you may be um maybe some of you could be reading you could be studying um researching i feel like there's something some sort of spiritual work is what i'm getting here for some of you you could be researching or learning something spiritual Maybe you've been researching and learning about some sort of spiritual work that you're that you're interested in doing. I feel like whatever it is that you do is some the, the work that you do is is a blessing. But I also feel like it requires knowledge, so you may have to read, you, or you may have been reading or studying up on it, or maybe you've been watching whatever it is that you're wanting to do you may be watching others that do it and getting inspired by them i feel like some of you may have been working with a mentor or you're looking to work you're you're looking to work with a mentor i feel like there is someone that some of you admire this is someone that i feel like is older than you or if they're not older than you they've been doing this particular thing that you're wanting to do they've been doing it longer than you I also feel like there's some sort of, I don't, I don't want to call it shame, but I feel like there, it seems hidden. So I feel like, I feel like maybe some of you have not put yourselves out there yet with this publicly because maybe um, you don't feel good enough or maybe you want to wait until you feel like you have as much knowledge as you feel like you need to, to present yourself in this manner. I'm also getting here, some of you may be like a speaker. You know what I mean by that? Like maybe you have like a platform, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, like I'm getting here like a social media influencer, something around that nature. Uh, again, I feel like some of you are, are are being prepped to be a star, to be in the public. But right now, you're being hidden. And I feel like you're being hidden because there's still some learning that you have to undergo. There's still some information and some knowledge that you need to take in. Because the work that you do should not be taken lightly. It's actually something that's spirit-led. And you're going to be touching the hearts and minds of many. I, I'm getting here like a... I feel like the group of people that you're going to be touching is not one particular group. I feel like you're the group of people. That's why I said some of you may be like an influencer. This is making me feel like rural ride. Some of you may be a model. You may model or you may be considering modeling. So maybe you have like a social media where something to do about body positivity or you're maybe wanting to show off clothes or show off some sort of work that you create and or design. But this is spirit led. You have some sort of spiritual gift, some sort of spiritual work that is going to be a blessing to many. But I feel like presently you're you're having to like learn about this. And, and some of you, you're maybe researching and getting information on doing this. So that but I feel like you want to be good at what you do. Yeah, see, here comes the Empress. 
Wow. I don't know why I get someone is into clothes, into fashion, maybe studying fashion. I'm also getting here this energy of like, um, I feel like you're going to go through some sort of transformation. And that's what some of you could also be looking into as well. You could, like I said, I feel like some of you have been looking for some sort of, in, in, not information, but yeah, information, inspiration is what I was looking to say. I feel like you're getting inspired and I feel like whatever it is, the spiritual work that you're doing, I feel like this is going to inspire you to change something about yourself physically. That's why I, maybe some of you are going to go shopping, um, clothing, like jewelry. Some of you may make jewelry, but I'm seeing you being adorned with jewelry. And I'm giving you like a natural beauty. So I feel like maybe some of you may go through some sort of transition where you don't want to wear makeup anymore. And you want to just wear your natural hair. I'm just getting here like... Uh, hmm. It's a really good energy though. That's why I'm just like, I'm really like an, an admiration of it. Because I feel like you're going to be a, a role model. The Empress is someone that everyone loves. Everyone comes to, she's like, she, she's naturally attractive. She could be looking up bad, she could be on, on her worst day. She could have a bad hair day and she still is attractive to people. She may think that it's a bad hair day, but other people may be like, oh, wow, I want to wear my hair like that. Like, she's an influencer. And she's very loving. And I feel like people are going to want to know more. I feel like you're going to be teaching. I'm saying students. Like, I feel like you're going to be teaching, but you have to be the student first. That's why I said I feel like you're, you're in the middle of a transition. I feel like you're the student, and then you're going to be the, 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 but I don't even want to say teacher because I feel like this is like above teaching. Like there's just something here about you that, again, is spiritually guided. Like this makes me feel like, um, hmm, I don't know. It's just like, I want to say queen level. Like, so, because it's not a teacher energy that I'm giving here. I'm giving more so like a, like a major influencer, or and this could even be worldwide. But I feel like right now you're the student. You're you're still learning, and then I feel like after that phase, you're going to skyrocket, and I feel like you're going to be like just be able to just be you, be confident and boldly yourself. You're going to be feeling very grounded and very sure of yourself, and that's why it's like you're you're not going to be a, a follower. And you're not going to be a leader. You just, you're just going to be. And just by being, it's going to attract people. You don't have to go out and get an audience. They're going to find you and they're going to come to you. That's the beauty of the Empress. That's why I said she's not a teacher. I'm not picking up a teacher. I'm picking up a natural beauty, a natural healer. I don't have to work hard. They come to me. I don't go seeking people out. They come to me. I don't have to, you know, toil and labor. I did that already. Now I'm at a place to where it just comes to me. It just flows naturally to me. The people that are meant to be in my life, the people that are meant to, that, that she's meant to heal and love on, she doesn't have to seek them out. They, it all comes to her. This is someone that's just like, I'm just chilling. Okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm just chilling. I don't have to do anything. And I'm not saying that don't do anything. I'm just saying like the toil and laboring that you are doing now or have been doing, that is about to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. You're about to enter into a different position. There is a time to be a worker. There is a time to be a student, a teacher. You, you've gone through those phases or you're in the middle of going through those phases. You're going to a higher level. But you're holding on to something because your challenge is the four of pentacles. There's some sort of 
yeah mindset yeah there's some sort of i was just gonna say that too with the queen of swords sitting here there's some sort of mindset that you're holding on to i feel like set in your ways and this is the challenge something you're a prisoner to something right now and it's challenging you the queen of swords and this is coming through as the challenge energy so this would be someone that knows it all um that's too smart for their own good um this could be the queen of swords could be someone that could be sabotaging unyielding to budge stubborn resentful my way or the highway and i feel like this is all derivative of some sort of negative thought that's on replay it has to do with some sort of judgment and it doesn't i feel like this is multiple judgment i feel like there's an issue that's why you're going to be just being i feel like there's judgment around you i feel like you some of you are holding a grudge or holding on to a particular stance surrounding people that have judged you and this can come in many relationships it's not you know it could be a mom it could be society it could be a lover a sibling an aunt like I feel like there's the judgment of so many people and I feel like like you know how if someone tells you oh uh, you think you're too good. I'm just using that as an example. If someone wants to say you think you're too good, I feel like you're holding that, or not even think you're too good, but let's just say someone said to you, um, you, you can't, you don't speak clear. Like maybe they say, oh, you talk funny. Like, I feel like you're allowing naysayers to get in your head. People that have judged you and criticized you, whatever the things of whatever, all of these people said, you're allowing that to hold you hostage. And I feel like it's, I feel like um, not only hold you hostage, but I feel like also holding a grudge against these people. And it's, it seems to be blocking you when it comes to love. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. And that's, that's not, you know, the Empress. That's probably why you're, you're still this page of source because you still have some learning to do. But you're headed towards being the empress. But right now, there are still lessons being learned. Wisdom is still, still being gained. So I'm seeing here, um, the future position shows the two of wands. It looks like she's going to be getting some sort of phone call. This may be, um, I feel like higher up. So this is, the, I feel like this is when you're going to be in a position, a different position than you are now. So I feel like you're going to have made some sort of stride in your life. And you're going to get some sort of phone call. Whoever this phone call is from, I'm getting here like a, a cowardly lion. Like this, there's somebody calling you that has been scared to call you. And I feel like this was someone that you waited to hear from. I feel like you waited to hear from this person and you may not have and you gave up on them or you gave up on expecting this person to call. But then here they come calling you. And so I feel like you're not going to be certain if you want to talk to this person or not. I'm also feeling here, you know, go look at previous readings that I've done. If this part of the reading resonates with you, like I feel like whoever this person is, because it seems like the same energy uh, from the last couple of readings that I did, where someone is just so scared to talk to you. I'm giving her this energy of this person needing some sort of advocate. It's like they are too afraid to come towards you. So they're going to have someone else reach out to you on their behalf. Some of you could be dealing with um, an Aquarius or a Leo. But yeah, that you're going to get some sort of call in the um, near future energy here that's showing up. 
But I feel like, again, that it's not going to be directly from this person. It may be from someone else calling you on behalf of this person. But I feel like this person, I just feel like they may not even know it, though. They may not even know that um, someone has reached out to you on their behalf. Because whoever this person is, they just, they're, they're numb. I'm going to hear like a numb energy around this person. Yeah, yeah, you may have blocked them. You could have blocked them from having access to you, which is probably why someone else is going to reach out to you. Some of you block this person, and so another person is going to call. Yeah, the, the king of swords is coming through. I feel like you're going to be I feel like you're going to be in a position of authority in the future guys. That's why I said you're not going to you're not going to be a quote unquote teacher although I'm sure you are a teacher cuz the empress embodies a lot of different things. She's a healer, she's a teacher, she's a student, she's a lover. Like she takes on all of, like she's master all the pages, knights, queens, her and the emperor, right? They've mastered those. They they've been through a lot of things and have come out of those so the thing about it is I feel like you're going to be in some sort of high position and this person is very timid of you they're very intimidated by you you're very very strict is what I'm getting here with this king of swords you're fair and just but at the same time I'm giving here a very um I don't know. It just comes across as, yeah, no nonsense. I feel like you're going to be in your masculine energy. It's not going to be a balance, though. When it comes to this person, I feel like you're going to feel the need to protect yourself, to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself when it comes to this person. It's going to be like, it's, it, it won't be a balanced energy. It's just going to be straight masculine energy. Like, I need to protect myself. I need to defend myself. I need to speak up for myself. Because maybe at one point you were not able to do that with this person. Whatever, whatever is going on here, I'm seeing that they're going to have a hard time changing your mind. I just feel like you're going to be in a position where you're not yielding integrity honesty morals is everything for the king of swords the truth everything it's going to be hard to change your mind and remember i told you earlier back here it seems like it's still going to linger where i said the challenge was you were being unyielding very high standards this is a challenge keep in mind i said the challenge your standards are going to be very very high to where this person you will intentionally make it to where this person cannot meet your standards whatever happened with you and this person they changed you it changed you i'm seeing a heart i'm i'm not really seeing any i don't even see any cups there is no cups here. So there is no feelings. Wow, I didn't even realize that. We have everything on the board as far as the minor arcanas go. We got the pentacles, we got the, the swords, and we got the, um, the wands. But there are no cups, which tells me that you have really buried your emotions. Some of you may not have any feeling. You, I feel. Remember, I said I feel a numb energy. You may even be numb to this person. Like I feel like their numbness comes from depression. Your numbness comes from, you know, being betrayed and hurt. And it's like never again will I allow myself to feel that kind of pain. So it's like you, you, that you've buried your emotions. You've buried your feelings, and now you're in your masculine energy of feeling like you have to protect yourself and you have to be strong. Okay. Now here we go. Two kings is coming through. Now they're going to cups. Regret. They got the emotions. 
I said, yeah, I, I can imagine. I told you, yeah, they're feeling numb and depressed. See, I told you, regret. The king of wands. Whoever this person is, they have regret over their actions, over their ego. I'm giving here like a macho energy with this person. Uh, there could have been some arrogance with this person. This could have been someone that um, got that liked attention. I get here like this is someone that could be very charming, very charismatic, flirty. They could be a flirty person, a ladies man or a ladies woman. Take it how it resonates. Either way, I feel as though their ego has been shattered. And they are filled with regret. And also I'm getting here, there is some sort, why are they angry? This person, it seems like this person is angry with you too. They got the fist balled up. Mm -mm. What's that about? I feel like they're mad at you. This person is mad at you. Cause they, because you, you're not budging. They're mad because you don't care and you're not budging. It's like I'm getting here this energy of you won't even look at them. You won't even talk to them. It's like, and they're mad because they like, don't you know I'm here? Don't you know that I care? Don't you know that, I, that I'm feeling regret? Don't you know that I've been feeling depressed? Like there's some sort of anger that this person has towards you because of how cold you're now acting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do an extended on this energy. Um, so um, we do see the future energy is that you and this person, I feel like you're going to be completely, like I say, you're going to be at a crossroads if you want to talk to this person. I feel like there may be an issue with the two of you talking because they look like they're mad at you uh, for not talking to them or for having the attitude that you now have. So over in the extended, we're going to be looking um, at the dynamics between you and this person, your feelings around them and their feelings around you and this anger that they have towards you. And we're going to see what this advocate, whoever this other person is that's trying to come to you on their behalf, wants you to know as well. So if you want more insight on this reading, come on over to the extended. The link is going to be in the description box. I'll catch you guys over there. They're Bye. being persistent because they're like, how could you possibly have known this? Like they said, you will recognize this person for you with this birthmark or with some sort of physical characteristic and that's and that's why they're being so uh you know remember i said they they won't stop they're going to keep coming because they know that this shaman could not have known this